Hello YouTubers. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about um, LightScribe. It's a new technology that I've recently found out about and it allows you to etch in with a laser um, onto a CD surface onto specially designed media that LightScribe, the owners are HP, that allow you to engrave either pictures, writing or any pictures that you want to put into it. And today I'm just going to be showing you how to do it and what it involves and the price of it and what it can start at. Um, to start off with I'm going to show you a couple of uh, um, projects that I've done recently and I've done this one here which was the first one that I did and as you can see it hasn't come out very well and this isn't due to the media that I've used but I've used um, this company here and these are DVD-Rs, plus Rs and as you can see it hasn't come out very well but this one here that I've done these are CDs, but this is, doesn't matter. But as you can see, they came out much better. And that's what they look like before you engrave onto them. And all you simply do is, I've been using a computer to do it. And all you simply have to do is have a special, a uh, special CD drive that you either write your data on there, and then go into either Nero or Roxio or some software like that that supports LightScribe. And then instead of putting the data side down, you put the laser etch side down, that's got the special media onto it, and then just put your CD drive in, and it allows you to um, put video images onto it that you've taken off of a video. So say you've got a slideshow, you can have pictures on there. And it also allows you to do um, text, and you can use text editor. And there's a couple of programs that you can get from HP that give you the ability to do this for free and the drives start at about £40 and you can get them externally as well and you can get them on Mac if that's your worries as well and if you go to Lightscribes you can get um, free samples off them and here you've got different colours of CDs to start off with and they apparently start from 24p each which is quite good with obviously postage as well and you get free uh, Lightscribe templates And you can also get Blu-ray CDs in them as well. And it gives you some templates you can get. And once you download it, it gives you a lot more templates for free. Um, and you can create some good art for either if you've got a band or if you just want to put pictures onto a CD for a relative or anything. And there you go, Blu-rays there. And it was like in a bit before where you could print onto the CDs in, in your printer. Or um, Canon did a... Um, CD where you could laser it onto the data, which is quite good. Um, and you can get DVD drives there as well if you go to lightscribe.co.uk or .com is here. And I believe somewhere on here you can find many um, Lightscribe toolbox, I think that's it. Sorry about my internet, it's a bit slow today. I think if you go to download, you can get some. You can get some uh, ones that are already on there. There you go, there's software for Windows and Mac and Linux, it also works on. So anything you can run this on basically. Uh, design Center, this is it. And here's um, some concepts that have come up. Um, so if you're at the office and you want to put some names on it, you can put like file on there. And if you click on them, so like creative concepts, and these are all that HP have made. Master Slows, I'll tell you some other things that you can do with Lightscribe. Um, obviously, these great art that you could, if you've not too worried about the price, you can make um, like art that you could keep on your wall. A bit tacky, but there you go. Or the other thing is, if you are in an office and you could laser etch onto the media side of it, the laser side of it, 
and then make up loads of these one weekend. Then when you're in the office and you need to put data onto it, you could put your data on then. You don't have to put your data on first. So you could have like your company's names on the DVDs or CDs, whatever you have, and then you can send them out to your customers and clients, which just adds a little bit more to your company. And here you go, if you click on them, you can go to music. There you go. There's a couple on here that are quite good. And they're all free, you can download them. Um, I use Nero to use mine, and Nero's are I found is the best. And you can just click on any one, and I'll click on this one here. And here, above here, you can download them as templates as well. So they're proper full-size images instead of just copying it out of here, which isn't a HD image. And you do get this bit if you copy it straight out of here. You get the center of the DVD, which isn't too good. And you can also change um, a few of the colors so you can see what it looks like in red or blue or orange. And it just gives you an idea of what color media you've got. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe on my video. Um, it will help me gratefully, and I can make more videos. Um, I do do video requests. If you want to video request anything that I may have, um, email me at james at jimmywiz dot com. It's on my website. My website is james lewis hyphen live dot com, and if that doesn't work, it's james lewis dot tk. And um, you can find me on Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter.